Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Double Jackpot. Please smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and we're gonna get into a funny, true, true uh, typical jack, double jackpot video. Here we go. First I wanna give a bunch of shout outs. If your name is off the list, it doesn't mean I forgot about you. It doesn't mean you're not appreciated and loved and uh, thought of. I'm gonna go down the list. We got a new subscriber, Alex Farrell from Ireland. Thank you, Alex Farrell. Then in no particular order, I'm just gonna go down these quickly so we can get into the video. Soul Nestle, Thomas Rich, Jess Southers, Polly Goat Nuts, Wang Chung Leong, Wung Chung Leong, Cincy Kid, Mark Picard, Dave the Rave, Rob Bennett, Zane Trotter from Australia. James Tamilkoff, John Brown, John Fryett, Happier Times Are Coming, John P., The Random, Dr. Packenwood, This Is My Simple Life, Card Shark, Tom Stocks, Infinity, Snacks To Go, Matt Top Terrell, Supernatural, Adam Aching, Gerson Damons, Thank you, Gerson. Stephen Wood. So, anyways, um, getting uh, into this video, I, I took two, two and a half days off. We went out to uh, Lake Conroe. We're gonna have some Lake Conroe videos. Maybe not the most beautiful videos, some uh, educational boat videos. Uh, not really educational, but something sad that we've seen that I want to draw attention to. Um, how boating accidents can happen. Uh, another one's a, a resort that's on the lake. If you're ever in the uh, Houston area, you may want to check that out. Um, big boater safety person here, uh, staying safe. But um, did take two and a half days and I missed you guys. Uh, appreciate y'all waiting. All the comments and all the text messages I did not mean to ignore any of you. Uh, Steven Amadella, big shout out to you as well. All the loyal people that I stay in touch with, I do not want to think I've missed any of you guys. Um, Buddy Elf, just, there's just so many people that pop into my mind and I, if, if I forgot you, I truly am sorry and I will get to you on the next video. I just want to do a quick one because I've been away for two and a half days. Uh, the annoying things of Christopher Mitchell. I could do that video, but I'm gonna do that on the next one. The next one, I just wanna get into people. I've got so many people asking me about these so-called strategies, the if if they work, if I, what I think. First of all, I think I made this clear so many times, but there's so many people that come new to the channel, new questions, new people. So it's not as easy as to say, uh, you've done this over and over and over again. It's easy to say that to you loyal subscribers that have seen all the videos, but we're talking about people that are, are always coming into a channel. Same way for CM, he gets these new victims out of our eyes. They may not see all the videos that are out there, mine as well as other channels, especially other channels that have exposed him. You know, people don't always click on the beginning videos that have been going on over, going almost a year and a half, year and 10 months. You know, but um, people ask me, do I think this guy has any merit? The guy preys off of hope, hype, expectations. I mean, I'm telling you, this guy's miserable, okay? He has to try to, he, his big thing is creating a channel, okay? Is he making money playing Baccarat? Probably not. You know, you're only seeing the wins and what he keeps track of. You don't know what goes off, off the air, you know? You can click in. I, I do a lot of videos on my on my um, business and stuff. I show you the, the good things, which is 99% of the time in business. I, I should say 98%, uh, probably 99%. I, I could even say 100. I don't show you the headaches of a business and all the stuff that goes on with employees and, and uh, certain jobs and headaches and things that go along the daily li lines of what we do. He, so, of course, this guy, he, he's gambling. So just know he's playing this one strategy, playing two two columns, two two rows, however you want to 
go, the odds are the same. You know, so he's trying to get about a 66% odd. Basically, he's saying, I'm going to guess right 66% of the time, okay? And, and then I'm going to have enough money to double down and keep doubling and doing my, you know, Mitchell Gale. You know, he Mitchell Gales, keyword Gales, um, his losses. So he's just hoping he's, he can be correct 66% of the time. But what, what, what pains to uh, say is when he doesn't get those wins, okay? So when he does get a loss, he has to win three times to, to take care of the loss depending on how much it is. So if he has a uh, $30 bet, $30 bet, that's $60. He loses the big bet. He has to win... Six, uh, six of the ten dollar bets. You know he has to win so many bets to cover the big losses when he does lose. The key word is, you know, when he gets into a streak of bad luck. That's what gets everybody. Yeah, you see these wins where he makes a hundred dollars. So what? You think he just stops? He keeps playing. He keeps playing, and he keeps playing. You know, so it's so easy to add a little bit. To your account to make it looks like you're like you're winning you know trust me over the long haul when he gets in these ruts he's gonna lose i mean he proved that in baseball that's why he doesn't play sports right now he doesn't share those picks he he got he got hammered in sports his no bust strategy i mean think about it that's you're not going to take any cards even when you can improve your hand uh even when you can split double etc i mean the no bust strategy just shows you this guy's a complete loser you know we're going to get back into his roulette. I mean, roulette's just a guessing game. He's playing the two two uh, rows or two columns, going for the 66% odds. But the thing is, when you get into that loss or you lose, and you do get in the rut, even if you're Mitchell Galing, Martin Galing, whatever, what happens when you do lose those? I mean, the losses set you back way more than the gains will. And it's going to happen. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. You know, he doesn't do any of his strategies. Remember his first strategy he did maybe three or four weeks ago? Get one win and get out. Play little. Albeit he's trying to build a YouTube channel, but he's doing it in such a way that he, any of you guys that watch him can see that he is a complete and utter fool. You know, just a complete fool. His little winner, winner, shrimp dinners, shrimp filet mignon. You know, he's trying to be cute. And he's an idiot. I mean, this guy is playing $10 at times, $5 at times. It's, it's absurd. So so what? Let's just say, let's say he makes 100 bucks a day. I've said this before. That's $52,000 a year before he pays rent, electricity, and nothing. They're starving to death. So, matter of fact, they're negative money making $52,000 a year living how they do. 36 in rent before he even turns on the AC and goes to eat. So let's say he doubles and makes... A hundred thousand dollars a year. We've done this math. Hundred thousand. That means he's making two thousand dollars a week. No taxes. No. 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 Nothing. That's a hundred and four thousand dollars a year. Thirty-six thousand dollars out in rent. Lexus lease. Gas. All the other stupid little miscellaneous expenses that are coming again, coming coming around. I mean, there's just he's not making any money. And I promise you, y'all all, some of you, and I know you're all just Christopher Mitchell wannabes or fake accounts where y'all are saying, you know, he's he's this or he's that. Probably fake accounts because, you know, this isn't a millionaire lifestyle. It's not a million dollar bankroll. It's nothing, okay? It's not a million dollar anything. There's nothing he's doing that you would want to trade, trade roles with. I mean, let me tell you, Stacy's going back and forth on the fence. I promise you that. You know, he took so much time off between these last videos. I went on a three-day, little three-day vacation, and he really hasn't put out much uh, videos. So, I mean, what do I make of that? I make out it, it, it's very hard on your significant other, you know, especially if they oppose gambling and they're sick of it. I mean, 
be honest with you, 200 bucks is not enough to take the, the risk to reward for $200 a day is not worth it. And he was never making $5,000 a day. And remember when he was full of hype about a little bit over a year ago, making, was it $90,000 a month? Think about that one, $90,000 a month. And you're over there making YouTube videos, trying to lure people in to buy your stuff. See, probably about 15, 20 of you guys at least have said the same thing I've said. He's already blown all his scam money. That's gone. There's so many videos out there. I probably got seven or eight messages this week that I checked on my checked on my account on my on my email, and it said, "Hey, thank you for not." Thank you for sh uh, sharing this with me so I would not join any Facebook or send him any money or do anything. So there are people out there that have been detoured from dealing with this moron. Okay? Just remember, when you're when you're seeing this stuff that looks so easy, like you're just going to go sign up on his account. First, he's going to get paid if you go to his link. Second of all, you're not going to have the luck or the ability to do what he does. The ability to edit his filming uh uh like today he just hop, hops i mean you don't know anything about those videos being real you don't know anything about it they were such they almost they look like bits and pieces of different vid videos that he's done you know i i don't trust anything anything is possible that anything he can do to make himself look good he will do i mean you're not going to win every day you really think you're going to win any day and think about this one when you're, when you're somebody like him, a professional scammer, he constantly, constantly said and just really belittled you guys who, who are viewers of his about playing online. I mean, how, how, how hard is it to see how he just called y'all fools and all kinds of nasty little phrases about playing online, you know, and there he is watching a little white ball roll around online. And why? He's been banned from all those casinos. Christopher, going to the Bellagio. I bet you somehow he tries to do a video from the Bellagio somehow, some way. Guarantee you, you're stuck at that little one by your house, Red Rock. If that's even real, you know. I just don't see you. You haven't been on the strip. You haven't been doing these cool videos. You haven't gotten any of these penthouse suites. Look, let me tell you this. If you, y'all know this. Just because you might not have a, say you're a gambling degenerate like Christopher Mitchell, say you do all the stuff that he does, you get comps, invites, whether they're dinners, rooms, uh, free, free plays. They'll send it to you. You get it every every couple of weeks in the mail. If you're on if you're on their list, winner or loser, you're there as much as he was for the last year and a half. You're getting those invites, you know. So for him not to be there, it's not because he enjoys sitting in the comfort of his own room. It's, you know, he's been either banned or he broke all kinds of rules or the casino invited him over to trespass him against those said properties. You know, that because let's face it, those were some of his biggest props was the the rooms and the dinners and the drinks and all the all the glamorous bullshit he was getting. Excuse my language, you know, it's all BS though. Um, guys, you gotta be thinking about what you're what you're doing when you deal with somebody like him. I mean, do you really think you're gonna win every single day? Do you really think that? I'm tr I mean, I say this sincerely, if, it was, if, that, if that whole gig was possible, I would gladly say, hey, you guys go try that. But the downside is you're going to get into the losing Right, you're not gonna hit those like he like you've been seeing, you know. So don't think he's just some incredibly lucky person. You're not seeing behind the cameras what what's going on. I promise you. I mean, you you just look at the way things have gone over the last year and a half. They're not doing any of the stuff they used to do. The the family. He's doing this penny ante little BS. Ten dollar wins. He's so excited about winning ten bucks. You know, it's so out of his element. I'm calling Christopher Mitchell out. I'm calling all you people out. Think about it. This guy was playing 100, 200, talking about how great it was. $500 bets, making his money and being done for the day. He's over there watching this little ball roll around, 
has $20 here, $20 here to win $15, $30 to win $15. I mean, I'm just saying, y'all, y'all think about how this is how this has totally changed. It's a whole different marketing campaign. It's a whole different gimmick. It's a whole different. Hey, look at what I'm doing now. He's playing these rows because he finally figured, heck, I got a 66% chance of winning. As long as I don't show them a losing streak, I look good. But you think about it, is that goat-like mentality? Is that some big shot? I'm telling you, he hasn't invented anything. Anybody's known you can do that. You know, it's, it's not anything that's like, oh my God, I discovered something nobody's seen in the last 100 plus years. So, you know, he will get in the losing streak and he's down to, I would say he's on strike one, maybe strike two with Stacy. He's bordering it. Uh, he's just got one losing streak left or one bad losing streak left and it's going to happen. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. It's going to happen, okay? He's not making enough money to support his lifestyle and what he's doing. You take that car and you take, Again, Christopher, I'm calling you out this way. You just run off at the mouth with all this other stuff you have going on. What do you do? Watch you play roulette. Watch you run off at the mouth. Watch you tell everybody how great everything is. But what do you do? What businesses do you have? Show us your portfolio. Show us your what businesses you have. You don't have anything. You you look and sound like a complete you know what, I, I wanna say it so bad. You you do not sound at all smart. You don't sound intelligent. You you look and pitch a sales scam like a like a scammer. It's clearly you have to be careful what you say on YouTube. So you're trying to get people to believe in this inner Facebook circle. And it must be hard because you know what? Anybody from that inner Facebook circle, I invite you to subscribe to my channel right now. Some of you have uh, messaged me and I invite you to share with me your story. Some of you have been kicked out. Some of you don't like what's going on. Anybody that's contemplating his Facebook group, do not send this person a money. Do not send him a dime. Do not get involved with him one way or the other. He's got to lure you to two things. His casino so he can get paid as an affiliate or his Facebook group because Facebook group probably cares less than YouTube. If y'all want to, Report his Facebook group. Guys, report every single one of his videos for improper, um, like fake fake promises. You're not gonna win. Make make this money, do this. Notice how he's had to change all that because people have all on to him. You know, win every time, 99% guaranteed winner. There's no guarantees, okay? I'm gonna end this video. Please guys, if you have not subscribed already, please uh, subscribe help me. It helps my channel. I'm going to do a lot more videos. If I have the energy, I'm going to uh, do a funny video tonight. Um, I'm going to go run a few errands. So guys, um, it's Monday. I'm trying to play catch up for having a weekend off, doing nothing. You enjoy yourself uh, and what you do and invest in yourself. Whatever you're contemplating, gambling, Put it towards investing in yourself, whether it be an ETF, a, a good growth stock, a mutual fund, a good dividend blue chip stock. Invest in yourself. Do not give it to somebody that's thinking he has this strategy that never loses, okay? He's going to lose. You're only seeing this, you know, you're seeing a miserable person trying to make other people miserable. Look, don't believe him, okay? You know, believe in yourself, take care of yourself. You guys are the only ones you can count on. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.